because there are cons to everything. People are not one size fit all. We all have different reactions to everything. If you want to inflate skepticism, then control the narrative some more. Keep using fact checkers some more. And yeah, more say, people have died under COVID this year, by the way, yeah, under Joe Biden, right. than under you. And more people took the vaccine this year. So people are questioning how- Well, uh, no, the vaccine worked, but yeah. some people aren't taking it. The ones, the ones that get very sick and go to the hospital are the ones that don't take the vaccine. Of me trying to get a COVID test in Aspen, and I only had to get a COVID test to show that it was negative because I was unvaccinated. So I didn't go through those jumps and hoops pretending to be vaccinated. I am not getting this vaccine ever. Never going to get it. I don't care if I'm on my deathbed and they say it can save you. I'm not going to get it. I'm principally now opposed to it. And I do not understand why anybody who is healthy, able body and, and young would ever get this vaccine if you're not at risk of COVID. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And I am all in favor of freedom of speech. I serve my country because I cherish our rights and values. But what Candace Owens is doing should not be protected under the First Amendment. When you intentionally lie, rile up, and brainwash an already ignorant base, there must be consequences. Right now, she is telling anyone that will listen to her that President Biden wants to harm them by restricting life-saving medication. And that is the exact opposite of what our president and the FDA are doing. And she knows that. She just doesn't care. Her goal is the more wild the accusations, the more likes, follows, retweets, and shares. That's the end game when it comes to Candace Owens. If you scream fire in a crowded movie theater and a stampede erupts, you're gonna be prosecuted. If you place an ad for fake products or services, it's called false advertisement. It is illegal and you will be punished. So how is it that Candace Owens and so many others on the fringe alt-right can lie about COVID vaccines when most of them are vaccinated and still have no legal consequences? Does that make any sense at all? She's spreading lies that result in deaths. It's that simple. That is what she's doing, and yet she is protected under the First Amendment. That's pure BS, folks. She needs to be prosecuted and held accountable for her actions. Now, I also want to get this off my chest. If you are not a doctor, a nurse, a pharmacist, a healthcare provider, then it should be illegal to give medical advice. I seriously think about all of the times you see someone talking about financial markets and giving stock advice. If they are not a professional, they have to post it in their profile in big, bold letters. But when it comes to healthcare, we have no rules? Because that doesn't seem right to me. What do you guys think? Write in the comment section and let me know if you agree with me or if you think I'm off on this one. Now for the one millionth time, get the damn vaccine and let us get back to our lives. Do not listen to people like Candace Owens, Tucker Carlson, and Jacqueline Joe Rogan. They're not doctors. They get paid to make sure you stay scared and angry. That is the Republican way, folks. And yeah, I know that Joe Rogan is not listed as a Republican, but lately he has just been an absolute idiot. Get the vaccine, folks, and you won't have to worry about taking horse medicine like Candace Owen here wants you to take. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.